Hello and welcome to this first video in this series. So what we're going to be talking about in this series is about, I guess, the use of personality profiling or um, different types of personality tests and how you can use those as tools to help manage your team. Um, specifically, we use um, a particular type of uh, test. There's so many out there uh, and I just want to go through as well why we use our one and then also how you would use that within your uh, team as well at your business. So I guess the big overview is like why use a personality test in the first place? Like what, how is that helpful? And what are some of the traditional uses for that um, personality test? Now there are heaps out there and I've actually done quite a lot of them as well myself. So um, there is uh, Myers-Briggs is probably one of the most famous ones um, where there's like 16 personality types. I've also tried uh, a, another one called DISC. I've performed one called Hexaco, uh, Management Drives, uh, Insights. Um, oh, there's one more recently. I forgot, I'll, I'll get back to that one. Uh, but that, was, that one was pretty cool as well. Now, I guess the, the real benefit of having something like a personality profile, now it's not there to, to typecast or stereotype you into something. Um, that's, that's, that's far from uh, its intention. Now, I believe the real value when it comes to just even going through the exercise of having something like a personality profile um, is for, yes, I guess for us as individuals to best understand ourselves. And then the next part is then once we know that there are different types, then it helps us also understand others. So I guess the, the best example would be that when, I guess if you've got if you've, if you've come across with this uh, particular intention where you want to say something to uh, someone in your team and you might be quite uh, direct about it and, and you know this is just your style, this is how you uh, like to be spoken to, this is how you get spoken to uh, and you're completely comfortable with that uh, and you just direct somebody to um, follow an instruction, say you want them to vacuum the floor or something like that and um, you come across and you say it in a very blunt, hey, need you to vacuum the floor. And although your intention was to make sure that, uh, that you know, because you had a, a bigger picture that you wanted the shop to look good or you wanted um, that, you know, the, the state of the floor was a reflection of everything that you do. So, you know, how could anyone take us seriously if the floors aren't even clean, that type of stuff. Um, so you've got that intention, but all you said was, I need you to clean the floor, I need you to vacuum. And the person that was receiving that message, the impact might be like, well, geez, who do they think I am? Like, this is just, you know, grunt work. Don't, you know, don't they know how senior I am? Um, you know, I don't, you know, I, I deserve better than this. And therefore the impact of um, what you were, uh, what you made on that person, that is real. How they felt based on the message that you gave them is real. And that's how they felt about that. So. Although there might be your intention is here and the impact is here, that gap is what I think is miscommunication. And having something like a personality profile can help you understand yourself and your own communication style uh, and your own personal natural tendencies as well as understanding others. And when you do understand yourself and how you are and understanding somebody else and how they are, you can bridge that gap between intention versus the impact. So um, again, using that example, if you're a very direct type of person, whereas the other person was a much more, um, I guess, a steady state type of person where they just wanted to, you know, that, that's just the way it's always been done. Um, instead of just saying, hey, just, I need you to vacuum the floors, you could say something like, hey, you know, the, we, we do have um, the floors vacuumed every single night, that is part of our, uh, routine um, and that is important to uh, ensure that that is done because it is a, ref a, a greater reflection of our overall business and that is just part of the process that um, we've instilled um, as a nightly uh, routine and that's something that uh, would fall under your number of tasks for the day uh, at the end of the day and if they understand and, and that person would really understand that so it comes down to how you would um, change your communication style to ensure that the message was received other than uh, because sometimes the the impact can just create a bit of a, a barrier and an alarm where they just kind of like 
block the message that that, that comes received. Um, you can probably relate to a whole bunch of these when it comes to um, you know uh, the sibling uh, conversations or talking to your parents or talking to your spouse, uh, talking to some best friends. Sometimes it just um, clashes uh, without really the intention of going, hey, I, I wasn't trying to hurt them. I wasn't trying to be mean or rude or anything like that. But sometimes the message does kind of come across that way. So the point of having, I guess the traditional point of having something like um, a personality profile does help you understand your communication style. So we've always heard this uh, saying, or I guess when I, when I grew up, uh, I heard this saying of treat others how you'd like to treat yourself. And that is somewhat true. And the whole point of that, that saying comes down to uh, a sense of empathy. Like if you wouldn't want that done upon you, that's kind of like your litmus test or your barometer on whether that's kind of like morally right or not. If you wouldn't steal from, uh, you know, if you wouldn't want someone to steal something from you, then you probably shouldn't steal something from others. Uh, but sometimes people have taken that into uh, a, a more broader thing when it comes to communication. So just because you would, uh, you know, a, someone who's quite direct would like to um, just you know, talk it straight up, straight to the point, very, very quick and precise, somebody else might prefer to talk about their weekend or something. So, uh, so just say if you were a manager and you are a quite direct type of uh, style and you just want to know, okay, so those things that you said that you were going to do last week, I just need an update on how those are going and I also need to know what are your priorities for this week. Go. And that person that you talk to, talk to they might be a, a very kind of like people type person. They might be very, um, you know, they, they like to, to, to uh, engage in and understand relationships and create relationships and cultivate them. So that person may have just turned 30 on the weekend and, um, you know, they had this big party or, and, and something on Saturday and they probably want to talk about that. And if you just come in and say, hey, I just want to know how you went last week and what are the, some, I need an update and what are some of your priorities for this week? And how can I help you get through those? So you might have this intention of really helping but then the um, the recipient of that message might be like, oh, geez, like I don't doesn't doesn't he recognize me? Like I've just turned thirty. It was a big it was a big milestone for me. Had this really great party on a great weekend, but doesn't even care. He doesn't even care about me at all. So um, that's where it can sometimes uh, have this uh, bit of a gap. So if if taking this in mind, if you were armed with the knowledge of some of these personality profiles for not just yourself, but also on your team, if you knew that the person that you were speaking to was quite a extroverted, open relationship, people type person, even though that's not quite, not quite yourself, you can adjust your communication style to really help and say, Hey, Gary, like, so I, um, so you turned 30 on the weekend. Can you tell me a bit, uh, you know, how was that for you? And although that might not be the natural tendency to kind of engage in that conversation, they're, you know, they're going to feel really good and they're going to go, oh, well, I had a great time. I went, had a party um, at night time, but before that I played some golf. Blah, blah, blah. And they probably will end up going, so how was your weekend? And asking you. And that probably will make you feel uncomfortable. And instead of going, oh, geez, why are they kind of prying into my private life? This is work. This is not, this has got nothing to do with you. Understanding that that other person is a real relationship, personal, open, extroverted people type person, you're not going to be so defensive of it and you probably will end up going, well, they've just got the nice intention of really wanting to get to know me and develop a relationship. So you will go, okay, well, I, you know, I um, you know, washed my car, I, I detailed it, I'm really proud of how that, that all went and um, I did it in record time. Like, like just, you would engage in a little bit of that conversation you wouldn't let it kind of like create a rise in you because you now know that it's not going to, um, you know, you know that they're not trying to be too uh, invading into your space. You just understand that they've got a different style, even though that might not be your natural style. You as a leader or you as a manager can really help communicate and develop, um, you know, and bridge some of those gaps to ensure that you're not, you know, pissing a whole bunch of people off. So that's, um, that's my take on um, the usefulness of, uh, personality profiles and how they typically have been used. Um, I want to take it a step further to say, so why, um, so the, the next video I'm going to talk about uh, which one I prefer uh, and what's my profile 
and then uh, a little bit later on I want to be talking about how you would actually use that information uh, more specifically within your business. All right, I'll see you next.